Hi guys, today for you a teardown of a very very special item I have. This is a proximity switch from a Russian uh, Strela 10 missile. It is a ground to air missile. So this is an inert part with just optical sensors. So here is the uh, model number 9Z111 and serial number. September 96. It seems as 76 as dead code. So as you can see, it is a gray cylinder. I think it is 12 centimeters. Yes, of the diameter. 14 uh, centimeters height. So you can see we have uh, eight eyes all around. Eyes. Eight uh, windows. So in fact, the four uh, windows on the top here around are connected to optically connected to some arc lamp, and the four lower windows uh, are uh, give to some uh, infrared sensors. So it detects the proximity of the target by a flashing uh, light, and if a light is reflected by the target, it triggers the explosion of a missile it seems so on the bottom well I guess it is the bottom side we have you can see the wire harness which has been cut flush here there are eight or ten uh, wires in this we have some uh, uh, silver coated uh, metal plates well, we will remove them but there is not much to see behind them in fact we have an overtime here, the um, serial number, or model number. And you can see a recess here to fit the next uh, part of the missile with uh, four uh, attachment holes for screws. The other side is different. You have these uh, clamps, which uh, clamp the next part of the missile with uh, side access screws. And you will not tie on this side where is not electric, no electrical connection. So there is no uh, signal co coming through, going through this part to between two overpass of my side. So to open it, it is just a matter of removing these four screws and removing the four screws on the bottom of the side here. But first we will have a look behind these uh, plates. I did remove the screws for two of the plates. As you can see, we have a wiring, in fact, coming through here. And uh, maybe it is uh, going in the b inside here. And if not, if there is a glass pass-through uh, device here going to the inside, the other side is the same. You can see there is some uh, hard uh, material here which I cannot uh, dig into. And these plates are uh, nice, uh, probably silver coated brass. Spare no expense here, by the way. And they go nicely like, uh, like this. The screws are removed. I did get this uh, device in uh, back on, uh, in 2001, if I remember correctly, on the German eBay. It was uh, 50 euros, and the dude had lots of uh, similar items to sell. So I did remove the screws, and now I can pull. There is a seal. I did not damage anything. Here is inside. And here is the guts. So in fact it is in two parts as we will see on the schematic later. There is the uh, top part here with the arc bulb and the uh, its power supply. And there is the lower part here with the four uh, sensors and some uh, amplificating electronics. But it looks like it is completely potted and I am not able to take it apart further without uh, damaging this. So, so far I did ne never attempt to uh, take it apart further. 
because this cover here anyway is uh, soldered all around so I could unscrew these uh, nuts here that there is some uh, wires interconnecting here so I'm not sure I should be able to, I will be able to uh, do metal in fact to uh, take it apart so you can see here the two of the sensors with uh, magnifier lens on top of them have uh, shielded uh, cables this is just a terminal block here you have a moisture absorption bag and here looks like uh, we have a glass insulator here so it must be dealing with some uh, high voltage So here is what we have inside. You can see the white material here is some kind of uh, maybe plastic, not sure. So there must be uh, some fancy electronics in the middle, I guess, but it is not possible to reach it with no damage, sadly. If I happen to find another one in a bad condition, of course, I will be happy to take it apart completely and do a complete tear down. But as I did only see it once on eBay for sale, I do not think I will be able to find another one anytime soon. Okay, here is for you. So I will put it back together and we will have a look at the schematics of the thing because it is quite interesting. So before we have a look at the schematics of the thing, I will try to show you the arc lamp through the lens at the top here. In fact, we can see the electrodes. Not sure. Yes, we will we, we see them here. Yes, maybe you can see, not sure, or maybe if I like in this way. Yes, you can see two uh, triangle things. It is really, really not easy. Yes, here they are. Here they are. You can see one here at the bottom. There is another one similar at the top. And the two needles between the two. But it is really hard to have it in focus with the camera. Sorry. So now we have a look at the schematics. So here is my uh, 200 pages uh, technical manual scan about the Strela 10. It is in Cyrillic. Here is the launcher. Uh, must be the system inside the launcher. Radar dish, something like this, test equipment. Here is a view of uh, my cell, my cell itself. And here you can see the uh, part I have with uh, windows on the side. You can see on the uh, the part without the wiring goes to the rocket engine. The part with the wiring goes through that must be the warhead with a save and uh, arm device here. And here is the autopilot unit with uh, winglets and probably all the guidance electronics. And here is a seeker head. And if I go to page number 33 32 maybe too so I have lots of infos and here is the schematics of my unit I have so as you can see it is in two parts uh, considering that this uh, upper part is probably multiplied by four as we are four uh, receiving uh, sensors so in the bottom here, we have uh, uh, the arc lamp here, arc discharge lamp, 
with this uh, lens here, here is the target reflecting. Seems there is a feedback uh, photodiode here. And uh, well, we have a transformer, probably um, some rectifier here, modulator of something here. You can see the oscillographs of the signals, by the way. And it is, uh, yes, this uh, feedback here is coupled to the receiving part. So seems we need uh, three or four wires for this part, only enough. We have uh, the sensor is obviously a photodiode. And we have all the uh, cascade of uh, modules to uh, deal with uh, signal, as you can see. And goes here to uh, final uh, step. So I did not understand uh, really well all this, by the way. But at least we can have an idea of what to expect inside. There is a transformer somewhere. Here is a feedback photodiode. And there must be some electronics, but uh, it is probably all in the middle of the, uni of the unit. So do we have other things? I believe this is the warhead. Rocket on grain here with, uh, you can see, solid uh, propellant. And uh, stuff that I do not know, even know what it is. This must be the battery for the missile. Uh, yes. And here is the missile in its uh, junction tube. More uh, stuff. Here you can see the part that goes into this one with uh, where the recess uh, here is, by the way, you can see it matches uh, perfectly. Here is your other. And after this, uh, lots of other things about the vehicle itself, uh, the test equipment and so on. It is in Cyrillic, so anyway, I cannot read it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye-bye.